What's up, y'all? Come on in, come on in, come on in. What's up, what's up? I'm just about to throw on this wig and kick it with y'all. What's up, Pop? What's up, cousin girl? What you up to? Hey, Nikki, what's going on? What's up, cousin? My cousin's in the building. Y'all get to talking about me in the group chat and I'm not having it. Who told me to get this? This Victoria's Secret bombshell? One of y'all told me to get this and bam, I got it. And I love this stuff. This is my favorite scent. What's up, Cassie? Thank you so much. Thank you for being here, man. I appreciate that. What's up, Mercedes? Yes, y'all fancy in here. My cousin's real fancy. We real fancy. What's going on, Dion from Buffalo? What's up? What's up? Girl, you 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 real close to home hometown. Real close to it. What's up, y'all? What's up, lady from Chicago? Chicago in the building, yes. What's going on, Texas? Oh, I know it's hot, hot. Y'all, I just came back from Mississippi not too long ago, so. And it's been a while since I've been back, and y'all, oh, I thought North Carolina was hot. Baby. Baby. Honey boo boo. Wow. I was like, grandma. I had forgotten. Y'all, I'm about to put this wig on. Has anybody tried this? This wig, tennis. This is what it looks like. So it should be a throw on and go in theory. In theory, you know, and it's outre, formerly known as outre, so it should work out. It's cold in Cali right now? Is it? in the building what's up what's up yeah it does look cute nikki but you know wigs they look cute on the package and on the tag sometimes see this look real cute right a little crimp style crimpity crimp crimp you know you remember the waterfall crimps <laughs> honey i believe i had waterfalls when i went to prom my junior was it junior or senior year i went with a bunch of girls y'all because Clearly, it wasn't no dating and not, not in cookie house. <laughs> so one year I went with a bunch of girls. The other year um, I went with my cousin. He was nice enough to <laughs> escort me. <laughs> y'all, I ain't lying. But anyway, y'all, I had those frozen waterfalls. I had like a little French roll in the back. Church all day. Had the waterfalls coming in the front. Yeah. And I wasn't doing nothing but ponytails before that. You know what I'm saying? It was ponytails all day, every day. I said, you know what? I'm about to get real spicy. I had on my little suit, skirt, dress thing, looking like I was going to win a conference. And I just knew in my mind I was super fly. I said, now, looking back on it, I was like, girl... Now, done. You are not going to conference, ma'am. Take it easy. I said, well, God is good. <laughs> 
God is good. Nikki, your brother took you. See? So you already know what it is. You already know what it is. I love the wig pop line, but don't have enough forehead for the bangs. Well, cousin, you are in luck because I have enough forehead for the both of us. Huh? That's why I love me a bang. Bang wigs do me right because, honey, they'll cover my whole forehead and I still got some more forehead. Whole forehead to more forehead. How many people can say that? How do we cover your whole forehead and then you still got some more forehead? I'll never know. I'll never know the math behind it. God bless me with a dome. Y'all like these crimps now. I like these crimps, honey. Honey, those waterfalls was like this. Bam. But they was out and, and real solid because, you know, they were the spray. Mm -hmm. Y'all know we were spraying stuff solid back in the day. It wasn't to give it a slight little hole, a little flexible hole. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Yeah, I like the color, too. What's going on, Thrifty? What's going on? Dion, I ain't lying. Yes, cuz, those crimpy crimps. I'm about to just throw it on. Oh, let me show y'all the inside. This is the cap. I'm going to just show y'all since you're here. It's two cones off to the side with pride, one in the back, adjustable strap. You know, pretty basic. That's the basic, um, you know, basic cap. But honey, that color, that color is speaking to me. Hold on. Y'all like it. Y'all like how I got it swooped like that? Bam, that's just tossing it on there. Bam, you see how I got that bang swooped? Whoop. I don't even need to adjust. <laughs> Y'all better adjust these wigs, honey. I got my wig grip on too. Okay, um, hold on. Let's let's pray for it real quick. There we go. Here we go. Come on now. Now look, I'm going to tell you something real quick. I'm about to say something. I'm about to say something about this. Hold on. Ooh. I'm going to say something. Now this, look at this. Now when you comb it down, the little piece is going to, honey, this piece is just traveling. Honey, get somewhere and sit down. This piece done went from up under here to right here to over here. Get, honey, honey, you're not even supposed to be over there. Sometimes you got to just comb through those bangs to get them. Now, y'all, this is just right on. This is right off the peg. <laughs> y'all, listen. And I've already linked this in the description, okay, just in case y'all feeling it. Y'all, I'm loving this color, and I'm sure they have other colors. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I like it right off the pack. I like it like this. I really do. I like it right off the pack. I probably wouldn't do. Now, that it's got that little, um... You know, that little circle part, that closure up there, that come to Jesus in a circle thing. Yes, it's got that, okay? So I'm just letting you know. And I'm using my own ear tabs, bam, just in case the wind get to blowing. Because you know that wind will tell the story. The wind has exposed a many, many hairlines. You hear me? Yeah. What y'all think? Out the pack. I think. Oh, I think I like it like that. Right there. You see these these little um crunch right there? I'm probably gonna put some heat right there. Bam. What y'all think? Keep it like this. Keep it like this. Or 
kind of get these two little crimps down. What you think? Crimps up? Keep the little waves up or push the waves down? What you think? I'm trying to get y'all an angle so y'all can assess. I need y'all to assess. What you think? Put some heat. Put some heat. Heat, heat. Dion say no. Yes, Pac. I believe it's a slave too. I like this. Down, down. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold a minute. I'm going to just put a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of heat on here because y'all know this is static now. Y'all don't be trying to set me up. Let me see how much heat it can take. It says 350 to 400 degrees. Now listen, this feels good, but it's synthetic. So I'm probably going to put it on about 250, okay? Not that I don't trust them. Bad. I don't know I'm that good. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to put this bad boy on 250. And then if I need to go up, I'll go up. But let me just start with 250. Because I'm not trying to tear up the wig now. My man about to be home. Oh, he been gone for like the last week. On the road. I think they just left... Um. Where they just leave? I think Detroit. They just left Detroit. They were in uh South. I think they went South Carolina to. Don't quote me on this. I think South Carolina to Maryland to Detroit. I believe. I believe. But he is on the way home, Chad. And I'm trying to be in it. I'm trying to be fly when he walk in the doors. That's why I need y'all to help me look my best, my flyest with this wig, with this wig. Because y'all know we we don't need any of these wigs, honey. But I like them. I like them. I'm going to just let this heat up. Yeah, Lush. I think so, too. I think the it just started a little high. The wave started a little high. They was a little zealous because the wig is cute. I get it. They made a cute wig and was like, oh, we starting way up here with the cramps, period. It's over with. We about to shut the we, we shutting the whole game and the whole industry down and they just got a little too hype. That's all. Yeah, I'ma just come. Yeah. Let me see. when they're coming to Atlanta. Actually, I do know because um, my actually my husband just sent me their itinerary for the rest of the year, but uh, I can't get to it right now. But I'll definitely let you know the next time they come to Atlanta. Okay, y'all. Let's see. That's 250. Let's put a little heat to it. We're going to go a little bit at a time. Dang, you know what I didn't think about, though? I sure got two plaques right here. Big old plaque right here and a plaque right there. I sure do, y'all. Okay, little by little. I can see the difference between this side and this side. Can y'all see the difference? We kind of just softened that wave right here. We didn't take it away, but we softened it. Y'all see that? Just act like this hump is not right there because that's my plaque. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know sometimes I ain't, I'm just not all together well I am together this is how it is in real life and y'all get to see that I don't be trying to be you know let me see hold on cause these dang okay but y'all see that how we just kind of softened that mm -hmm. yep cause I want to go little by little you don't want to do too much at one time you can always ease it a little more with a few more passes because this is 250 now seeing what it's doing on 250 it'll say three 350 at the most y'all i wouldn't do 400 i wouldn't do 400 okay you can always do more the more heat you apply to it the more it's going to straighten 
really. And I didn't want to straighten it all the way. I just wanted it to be a little softer. Not so up like this. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Y'all better be stylist. Y'all better lead me in the right direction. Yes. We don't play, we slay. We out here slaying. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Right, Nikki, it was just enough. Yep, cousin, little bit at a time. Let me get a little bit over here. Look at this. Y'all look, look at this. Look at these little short pieces. Look at that. It happens like that sometimes with, with wigs. I was about to say synthetic wigs, but it can happen with any wig. But if you're paying high-priced dollars, then that stuff shouldn't happen. But if you're paying about $20, look, that one, it wanted to shout. It wanted to be seen. I'm going to just take some. <laughs> now, Ultra, you didn't think I was going to comb this? You didn't think it was going to be? We just going to cut that little piece off. It's, we, we just got to let it go. Let it go and let God. That's all. Okay, it's gone, y'all. <laughs> right, Ashley. Lost and turned out. That's all. That's it. That's all. But it's okay. I'm glad y'all saw that because every once in a blue moon, you get a wig and it's got a little ignorant to it. See, it's what it is. But it's cute. So you might have to, you know, Y'all know what time it is? Hold on, cause this little bang right here is making it. Okay. Let me see. I think I need to go a little bit more on this side. What y'all think? It's coming down a little bit over here. What y'all think? Mm-hmm. Nice and soft now. Yes, cause that top, these top crimp honey was like, we are here. We the whole reason why y'all came to the party. We trying to be, man, we trying to get chose. <laughs> These top crimps were trying to get chose, y'all. Oh, I think when I cut them, I left a little bit. I left a little bit there. Uh-oh, I went through it. I didn't mean to go through it with the arm. Um, I left a little bit there. I hope you guys have been enjoying your weekend. I do, I do, I do. No. Child. There it is. Okay. Let's see. There we go. I didn't get it all the first time. So we just soften that up, y'all. What you think now? What, what we at with it? We cool or do I need to do something else? What's going on? Do I need to comb through it? Or keep it like this. My weekend was a blessing. Yes. Come on, cousin. Thank you, Tamara. I have definitely been enjoying my weekend. This was a weekend of cleaning. I did a lot of house cleaning this weekend. Like deep cleaning. You know what I'm saying? You know. the house, You know when your house is clean to the naked eye? But you want to do some deep cleaning and you may want to rearrange things, etc., etc. That type. You know what I'm saying? Star Netflix and chill. Ooh, in the rain. Hmm. I saw you and him walking in the rain. Hey, 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 hey. That listen. That song right there is a whole gotcha song. 
You were holding hands and I'll never be the same. That thing walked up to him like, hey, baby, what's going on? <laughs> That's some stuff I do. Hey, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? Sight, let me tell you something about Lilo. He know. He know. He know better. Just as well as I. Because one thing we don't play about is us. Is each other. Happy birthday, Rebecca. Yay, yay, yay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Now, who took the high note on that? Because I know some of y'all were singing along and somebody took the high birthday. Who took that note? Somebody took that note. We too family for, for somebody not to have taken that note. I know one of y'all did. I ain't lying. <laughs> Somebody hit that high note. Look, at, look, I took <laughs> Honey, listen. Anytime somebody sings that song, you better believe two or three gonna take that high note. And it's gonna sound good. You hear me? People gonna be like, dang, did y'all practice this? Mm-hmm. Miss Sharon. Yep. <laughs> I know y'all. I know y'all. I know y'all. Chell, we family for real. When I tell you we gonna cut up so flipping much, man. Every time I go live, I get so excited about our meet and greets. Every time. Chell, we gonna have fun. We gonna have so much fun. Now, I'm an alto too, honey. I'm an alto too. I can just, but I'm a first alto though. So I can still hit some some notes. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm alto. I'm alto. Like Sister Brandy. <laughs> Let me not compare my <laughs> I love Brandy Chad. That's probably that's probably one of my favorite vocalists ever. 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 For real. Ashley, I would love to meet you too, girl. I am, um, I'm working on that. I'm working on some things. That's why I love when you guys come in and tell me where you're from, where you're logging in from, um, because that is helping me along the way. It's helping me plan. Um, as far as location, it's helping me plan things and, um, yeah. So we working on it. We working on it. It's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so fun. Rose loves. What's up, my Turkish cousin? What's going on? What is going on? I love me some brandy too, chap. Tamara, we are, we are. Basically what I'm gonna be doing is small, um, small meet and greets, and then we're gonna have a one big <clears throat> family reunion, okay? So, yeah, that's what I'm working on. So as you can imagine, it takes a lot of time, a lot of planning, but now that everything has kind of slowed down and I feel like we can get together safely, um, mm -hmm. now is the time, now is the time, but it does take a lot of um, planning when you want to do, you know, you want to do something nice. I want to do something nice. You know what I'm saying? What's up Canada in the building? You make any wig look good, except for that one with the three dress. <laughs> Y'all. Woo. Those lock wigs, faux lock wigs, sometimes. Wow. 
Hey. You can't do nothing but pray for them because the building fund ain't going to cut it. It's not going to cut it. Did y'all tell me whether I should keep the crimps like this or comb it out to make them soft? Y'all probably did, and I just didn't see it. Let me see. I'm trying to catch up, y'all. Hold on. Okay, I think I saw. Oh, keep it like this. Don't call me. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I got y'all. I got y'all. I'm going to keep it just like this. Just like this. Y'all remember when uh, Judge Doom said that on Roger Rabbit? Remember me, Eddie? Remember when he said that? He said, I talk just like this. You know, y'all won't get that reference in a live anywhere else on YouTube, I guarantee. <laughs> I'm going to keep the crimps, y'all. I'm going to keep it like this. And let them fall on its own. Yep, yep, you're right. I agree with you guys. Honey, y'all didn't help me do this. And we really didn't have to do much. I just put a little heat to the top just to, you know, soften those top crimps a little bit. And that was it, y'all. We ready to go. We ready to go. We ready to get out of here. No, yeah, I'm I'm I, I agree with you guys. I agree. I'm gonna just keep it like this. I totally agree. I like it. Let me show y'all the back. That's one thing I have not showed you guys. So, now listen. <laughs> you know, I'll be having to preface things. Now, I got a ponytail back here too, okay? Just letting you know. But this is the back. And I have a hoodie on, so hopefully that's not messing it up. But that's the back. That's what we look like. This is what we're looking like, y'all. Off to the side with pride. That's what we're looking like. That's what we're looking like. That's what we're looking like. When we just kind of tuck it behind the ear and we got our own tabs. Huh? But you got to make sure that those bangs are in formation, okay? You have to make sure that the bangs were ready for that transition. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad the back is cool, y'all, because I didn't know. I was just like, hey, hey, it look good from the front and the side. So, <laughs> that means when I take pictures, I just got to be from here. I can't turn around too much. That's all. That's all. Y'all know sometimes the back of wigs be like, ah. Now the front is giving, but the back, wow. Not so much. Not so much. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay, y'all. Yeah, I like this. I like this, you guys. This is a this is a really really cute throw on and go, and depending on what color you get, because you know Uche is really good with you know giving substantial color options, so you don't have to be this bright and vivid if you don't want to, but Sister Rebecca requires a selection. Listen, y'all know I do not sing like that. Y'all always, always be trying to do me. I do not sing like that, y'all. I can say follow la 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 la, but that's it, honey. I don't sing like selection sing. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't sing like that now. <laughs> I, don't sing. I wish my husband was here because he definitely would come in and bless you on your birthday, but honey. I, now I can pray for you now. Now, now hey, 
Dog got that hand down. I could pray for you in a minute. <laughs> but I can't I can't sing like that. You remember how uh pa uh Pam told Gina like you got a cute little voice going around the house. You remember that when she talked I'm the yin yin around the house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's me. Okay. Okay. So I can I, I could do enough, but it, it don't it's not really enough. I need y'all to know that. I need y'all to understand. I agree. This is a really, really good throw and go. D no, I be play singing, y'all. <laughs> Listen, y'all, and I've been missing my bag too. I have been missing him this trip. Woo, you know, you just fluctuate. You all, like, I always miss him. And he he misses home. Like, we talk every single day while he's out. But sometimes it's really, really, really rough. Like, it's really tough. Like, oh my gosh, I just want you home. Those type of times because you know i know this is his job this is his career and it's a blessing y'all so we don't we don't like to you know fall too deeply into our emotions because at the end of the day this is a it, it's it's a blessing it's a blessed life a blessed career so and we are very thankful to god for that so you know we we manage and we do what we have to do while he's out blase blase but y'all sometimes Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do child a long way from home. Sometimes that's how I feel when he be out. Mm-hmm. Yes, Pac. See, there's a difference. <laughs> there is a difference between singing and singing. And I believe some of y'all think I can sing. No, 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 I'm glad. I'm glad. Some people can't stand it. Some people can't stand it. And I'll be like. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. I really, really don't. <laughs> y'all. Now y'all hyping me up now for real. For real now. For real. Don't don't do me. Don't do me. Don't you do it. Right, Ashley. You absolutely right. And I'm very clear about that. I'm very clear and I'm honest about that. Like if you don't like the fact that I probably will mention God at least ten times in my videos. This just may not be the channel for you. You know what I'm saying? I pray for you and you move forward to something that makes you more content or makes you more happy or comfortable. I hey, you do what you got to do because I'm going to do what I have to do. So you do what you have to do. I, I've said that many a times, many, many, many times. And people be like, everybody don't believe what you believe. I'll be like, I know that. You're not telling me anything I don't know. I know that. What does that have to do with what I'm going to do? Er. Hmm. But they be. They be. Marcy, I still want to see. I'm going to dig up those prom pictures. And I'm going to show y'all my little two-piece suit dress. 
Let me tell you something too about that prom. I was so jacked up. So obviously I knew nothing about makeup, um, dresses, all that stuff. So I had a little church suit dress on first and foremost. Second of all, uh, now my hair was fly for like back then. With, you know when you had a French roll in the waterfall, that's back then, come on now, come on now. <laughs> We we were not above it. So that was fine. But child, so I was not into makeup at all. So I went to the mall and they had an Ebony Fashion Fair person in uh, one of the department stores. So I was like, okay, I'll go to the Ebony Fashion Fair. She'll do my makeup. My hair is already done. I get my church suit dress. And then bam, my stockings. I had on these thick heels, like this thick. Y'all, I'm just thinking. <laughs> I'm going. I'm. I'm sure my mother has these pictures. But anyways, Chad, I went to Ebony, and this is no diss. Listen, I supported Ebony Fat. I went to all their little uh, their um fashion shows. Anytime they came through Erie, we was in there supporting. But baby, the uh associate that was clocked in on that day. In that department store. <sighs> Let me tell you something. First of all, I was probably about, now that I know about makeup, I was probably about 5. I say a good four shades darker than I am. And y'all know I love my coffee Olay. So for me to look at it and was like because clearly my neck is my neck my neck is not four shades <laughs> honey if you gonna do that you got to bring it all the way down and around because i had an updo so the back was out you got to bring it down and around she didn't want to bring it down and around so i so clearly i'm going there as two different people first and foremost I'm literally, I'm two different people going to prom, okay? My face is somebody else, honey. And the rest of my neck, and the back of my neck, and my hands and everything, honey, we was two different people. So, didn't nobody even know how to approach me. Because I, they, so anyways, honey, she had, I said I wanted to be real natural. Because this was my first makeup ever, y'all, in my whole life, Okay? My senior year. This is my senior prom. So this is my first ever makeup experience. So I told her, I don't really, you know, do makeup like that. So just make me look real natural. So the foundation was like four, at least four shades darker. And then um, that was before like people were talking about, um, you know, concealing under eye. And, you know, I've always had hyperpigmentation around my eyes. So, I think maybe that's what she was doing. Maybe she was trying to match the rest of my face with, like, my hyperpigmented areas. But it was even darker than the hyperpigmented areas. So, it was dark on top of dark. And um, then she just, she did that. She did it all over my eyes and stuff. And then she just did some mascara. And, y'all, that was it. That was, uh... That was it. That was all. So then, you know, they give you the mirror and stuff. And she proud. You know what I'm saying? She off to the side with pride. Like, you know, like, did not kill it. And I was just like, you, yeah. Yes. Yes. Now, you did that. Even not being used to makeup, I still knew, hey, this is wrong. But y'all like this time i'm very sure like as much of an introvert as i am now but and you guys have truly helped me to get comfortable as comfortable as i am now this was long before that so i'm just i'm real quiet i'm very nice i don't want to make her feel bad so i'm like oh okay thank you i appreciate it honey we gave her a tip everything and just silently on the inside <laughs> I was like, why would I, I could have just went regular with my regular face. The, the one that I came to the earth with. 
I could have just went with that face. I didn't know I was about to have a whole nother child. I was a whole nother person at the prom. I was a whole nother person. And hey, that's just what that was. And I'm going to find those pictures, y'all. I'm going to find those pictures. I was a tomboy, so I didn't know how to pose. So I'm in all the pictures posing like this, like we taking basketball pictures. I was from here. All the girls, you know, they got their poses and they, yes, and they, all this. And I'm like this. I'm like this, bruh. Like, I'm about to go set it off right now. So I look at these pictures now and I'm just like, man. <laughs> Baby, I have come a long way. I'm going to show you those pictures. I'm going to show you my senior pictures. I'm sitting there like this or something like, oh, like this. Because I had a basketball right here. Bam. And they said, put your arm up here like this. I did it. I had my track bag. I had my cleats. I had all my little trophies and stuff. Honey, like I'm sending the NCAA application tomorrow for these pictures. And I was from here. That was my senior picture. And I had on a plaid, like flannel top, um, and some like khaki sort of pants. Could have worked at any Kinko's, easy. Could have walked in there and got the job, easy, y'all, easy. That's how I looked my first day of college as well. That's how I looked. That's exactly how I look. My very first day, well, probably the first year, but I, I look like I, I could work at any office max. That's, and honey, I, I, that was my version of dressing up, y'all. That's how I look. And what makes matters even worse, we had the family orientation where all the students, all the freshmen, and all of their families, you know, the families were dropping them off, all that stuff. We had our first orientation. And the president of Livingstone College, I'll never forget this. Mind you, I'm still me. I'm still, yeah, I, Cleo, yes, yes, yes. So if I go on, we, that's how I look. Like I was going to set it off, but I was not Vivica. I was not Jada. And I was not, what's the name? Elise? Uh, is that her name? Uh, I believe that's her name. Uh-uh. Cleo, baby. Honey, honey. I was Cleo all day. You hear me? So we are sitting there. And no matter what, I always sit in the front. Growing up in class, when we, you know, we were able to pick our own seats, I was always in the front. Always. Super studious. So I'm in the front thinking we just going to get information. The parents are going to get all the information that they want. We're going to say goodbye to our families and we're going to start our college career. Why would you do that, Can you move? The president then says, is there... A such a such a such a such a such a such Mary from East High School. Where are you? Where are you? I said, ma'am, no ma'am. Ma'am, no ma'am. And I was like this. I was like, oh my God. Because y'all know I'm not. My heart is just beating. It's racing. I'm like, oh my gosh. Why is this woman calling me? And finally, <laughs> my mom cook it here she is right <laughs> oh my gosh i was like she made me stand she said go ahead stand up i'm standing there like this she said you guys this is who you are i forgot her word like this is who you are um um Dang, how did she word it? Something along the lines of this is this is the number one student. I, basically, I had the highest GPA of the freshman class, okay? I'm just saying, not to brag, y'all, 
That's what she was saying. So that's what she was alluding to. Everybody get the clapping, da da da. She going through all my accolades, all of the universities that I was accepted to, all this stuff, and she chose to go to Livingstone College, which is, y'all, I'm literally like, and I'm breathing because I'm standing up and I'm getting like, and I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to fall out. And, she, and I'm very modest, y'all. I'm super humble. So she was putting me on the spot and I was just like, oh gosh, like I didn't want to come in like that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to. So I was like, I just, she's going on about this scholarship. She going on about my track, uh, track and field record, the, the scholarship that I got for track and field, my total scholarship offers that I had coming out of high school, all of this stuff. And honey, mama just as proud. Mama just up there. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. <laughs> y'all, I was so embarrassed. But going back to what I had on, y'all, I was Cleo once again. Not knowing that they about to make me stand up in front of all these people, the auditorium full. I'm like, why would you do that without consulting me? <laughs> Y'all, I was so embarrassed. I was literally, they were clapping, all that stuff. But honey, I was mortified. I was mortified. I wanted to get out of there. I was like, if this is what school is all about, uh-uh, I don't... <laughs> I don't want you, I don't want you, I don't want you. You remember when uh, Angela told, what's her name that? Joe Jackson. I don't want you, I don't want you, I don't want you no more. That was my introduction to my adult life looking like the Cleo that worked at Kinko's. And I just look back at these, these things like, girl, Girl, so that, that should give you more insight on me. So when you see me and we in here cutting up and, you know, I'm in hoodies and t-shirts and stuff, y'all, this is me. I'm not like glamour girl. I just went to school for this and I know how to do it. So I know how to do these things and I like the art of it and I'm super artsy. I like a lot of stuff. I like body art. I like tattoos. I like a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just bringing you what I went to school for. But that should put things into perspective. When people be like, "Girl, if you put if you if you put this on, you would be such such such," and I just be like, "Y'all, cut it." Mm-hmm. Literally, fix it. That's. Child, I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. And y'all, that's a story in itself. My my college career is a story in itself. I when I, I know last time we talked about story times, and those story times are coming. But y'all, my college career was this is why I, I I I love mentoring. That's something I've been doing for a very long time, mentoring young girls. Cause let me tell you something. I'm not prestige, like, my life was a great life. Like, I cannot complain. Even growing up in poverty, I didn't realize I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know we were poor. I just knew we didn't have all the things that other people had. But I didn't know the extent of it, y'all. I did not know the extent of it. I grew up when the food stamps was, was the paper. I thought that was, that's money. Mama would send us to the store to get this, that. Give us, the, like that. I don't, I don't know. That's just another form of money. As a kid, I, you know. Hey. So I grew up very humbly. So that's why I'm not out. I'm not like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. I'm no different than a lot of people. Than, and then you have a lot of young girls who people put like, their expectations on like, oh, you can't do this or you can't do this because now you have a child. Listen, let me tell you something. My son, I had my son when I was a sophomore in college. You know how many people told me I wasn't going to finish? And I'm talking family. Told me I wasn't going to finish, honey. Everybody say that. Everybody say they're going to go back to school. All of that. 
Honey, you hear these stories and people don't really like to, cause it's, but there's like a, uh, I don't know. It's all, there's always these, these things that people like to put on us and people like to, um, you know, cage us in. And that's why I like to talk to young girls because at the end of the day, can't nobody tell you nothing if, if you focus on what you want to do. And, and um, I talked to my daughter about that stuff. And um, I'm very frank with my children about my decisions in life. Um, and how I, because uh, obviously I, my children are, are believers. So we talk about that. I, I tell them that I had to repent. I tell them that they are, my family is the biggest blessing, oh my gosh, here on this earth. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't change. Oh Lord, I love them so much. But I had to repent for my actions because I, I knew, like, I know better. So, you know, being young and not know that's another reason why we're very, we're open and honest and we talk to our kids. Like, we tell them the truth. My daughter know what game is. I ain't lying. And she got it from me and she got it from her daddy. So, her daddy gonna talk to her like a real ninja. So, it's you're not gonna be... That's the thing I think that a lot of young girls need. And sometimes they don't have it. So, y'all, we open and honest. So, I, I, I talk to them about that. Like, listen, you are such a blessing. You are such a blessing to us. But I should have waited. I was supposed to wait. I'm very honest. I'm not. So when I tell y'all, like, I'm not that super Christian type of person that's just going to sit up there and judge and judge. And you know, you going to, and you doing this and you doing that. When really, like, if I had been approached like that, who knows where I would be. So I'm a very honest believer. Very honest. I, I can tell you the right from wrong. That don't mean I've always done it right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like that with with our babies. And y'all, whoo, my life has just, I've broken a lot of um, bad expectations. I'll say that. And I love it. That part about it, I do love. Because one thing you're not going to do is tell me what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do. Mm-mm. That's never worked out well for anybody. So that 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 motivated me even more. Like, what? So now I'm sitting here on my third degree. By the grace of God, not by me. Because he gave me that. He gave me that drive. He gave me that hustle. You know what I'm saying? Staying up all hours of the night, studying, all that stuff. Waking up, taking the baby to daycare, going to work, all that stuff. Going to hair school, all that stuff. Finishing my bachelor's, finishing my master's, all that stuff, y'all. And they told me I wasn't even going to go back and get my bachelor's. So, all that to say, bam, we out here. <laughs> we out here. That's why I'm, you know. So, I, I just like to let give you guys little pieces of me although i am a private person i'm not a secretive person so i like to show you guys little pieces about me so that you know you know what i'm saying that you get it like you get me a little bit better like okay i get it like i understand i totally understand her even more or even connect with me on a different level that you may not have known that you connect with me on you know what I'm saying? So I just I, I like that about this this particular community. And uh yeah, man. I I definitely want you guys to know because a lot of people get on here and they're like super like I am super perfect and mm-mm. Like we're good people. We are genuinely really good people. That's no lie. That's no lie. But we've made mistakes in life. So, you know, we, we don't we don't hide that from like our children. We talk to them for real. We talk to them about everything. So they know that they can always come and talk to us and don't 
have to be fearful of talking to their parents. So many kids are fearful of talking to their parents. Um, and then that's not good because that door needs to be open, especially if you are the voice of, of wisdom in their life, in their lives, you, they need to be able to talk to you without fearing like, listen, I would, I would talk to daddy about this, but maybe I'll talk to mama, but listen, mama might kick me in between the washer and dryer if I tell her. You don't want your kids to feel like that. You don't want your kids to think that. So, listen. Ooh, psychology. Ashley, my mother, she studied psychology. That's what her doctorate is in. Psychology. Having God in your life helps. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. You talk about the peace that passes all understanding. You cannot tell me that you have it if you don't know God. You might think you have it, but just know it's another level. <laughs> you might think you have it, but it's a whole other level of peace. That's all I'm saying. Maybe you're comfortable with your level of peace. Hey, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. But you just know, oh, it's another level. It's another level. Oh, I appreciate the fact that you... God's allow me to be transparent like this and not, you know what I'm saying? People can make you feel bad. People can make you feel like, uh-uh, you weren't supposed to. Mm -mm. That's why I tell people, do not put me on a pedestal. Don't do that. Me or my husband, <laughs> don't do that. We are walking every day, getting, getting better with things every day. Yes, we're. I feel like we're great. I feel like we're wonderful. But we're not Jesus, you know? We're not Jesus, and we will forever be striving to be as close to him as possible. All of us. We're just honest enough to say it. You know what I'm saying? That's all that is. We all in the same boat, y'all. Thank you, cousin, and I love y'all right back. You know, you already know, you've been rocking with me for a long time. So you, you, you know. I'm serious about that. Some people say that because that's what you're supposed to say. They think on YouTube, mm-mm, mm-mm. And they be like, y'all be over here talking about this. These, I really, really fool with my subscribers and blah, blah, blah. Y'all be lying. I be like, wow. Hey, I can't speak for anybody else, but I really fool with my subscribers. Like, I really do in real life. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we cracked the code. I don't know. I don't know. That's right, Mama Bear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You gotta you have you gotta make sure that they know they can come talk to you. You have to, especially nowadays. Oh man. Oh man. You better make sure they can talk to you in 2023. You best. I ain't lying. You better make sure, man. My kids can talk to me about anything. And their dad about anything. And we're going to tell them the truth. We are going to tell them the truth. And we are going to guide them the way that they should be guided. Not the way that the world says. Because when they get out in the world, they're going to have to make their own choices. They're going to have to make their own decisions. But you better believe they're going to have that foundation there. You're not just going to be able to tell them just anything. And they just, oh, okay. okay. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 And we cover them. We shower them in prayer. You hear me? Y'all ain't going to be able to just, nah. Nope. Nope. And they always know they got a safety net. That's another thing we don't do. You know, when they get grown, sometimes we, we just have a lot of strongholds on us sometimes. And we can sometimes make it really hard on our kids. And we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're teaching them responsibility, all that stuff, y'all. All that. Don't get it twisted. But they know they always have. They always have us. Always. Always. And I say that, and people be like, all right, they're going to, you know, maybe your kids going to do that. You know, <laughs> they be quick to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You deflecting what you feel maybe about your, your 
situation on me and mine. You can't do that. You can't speak with me and mine, honey. Tamara, I agree. I agree. You guys are great. You guys are so cool. Amen and amen again. Yes. Y'all always be, we be having nuggets in here. We be having nuggets, and I don't mean the mint nugget. Nuggets and pearls. Nuggets and pearls. Ooh, y'all, I like this. I really like this wig. This turned out really cute, you guys. This turned out really, really cute. I think. Oh, <laughs> thank you, cousin. <laughs> Y'all, <I>, man. <sighs> I'm glad I jumped on. I'm really glad I jumped on. Because I was like, should I jump on? And then I was trying this wig. So I was just like, well, they can try it with me. We can try it together and see what we think about it. Because this is my first, I think, my, I think my first crimp wig, I believe. So, but y'all listen, I'm about to prepare for my man to get home. I have like two more loads of laundry that I have to do. And um, so I'm about to jump over here. But I appreciate you guys jumping on with me for a quick minute. And y'all know an hour is a quick minute for us. Because <laughs> honey, we be here all day. Um, but I appreciate you guys jumping in here. <laughs> yes, you niece, when we had our first live. And I was so scared. I was like, listen, y'all, just, just pray for me. Because I, 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 I'm just getting my feet wet. Just be easy with me now. Just. <laughs> and look at us now. You see? Do you understand? God will do that. He'll do that. He will do that. What's up, precious girl? What's going on? You coming in at the benediction, girl. <laughs> Precious coming in with that finger up. What's up, boo? Latoya, thank you. I, I, Man, I just appreciate it. And I really think it's just going back to how we vibe. It's not, you know... How I tell you in my videos, they're not scripted. I don't write this stuff down. Just whatever comes out of my mouth, that's what comes out of my mouth. Um, it's the same. And I just, God just plays the right people. That's really all that I can attribute it to. God places the right people in the community. And that's it. That's it. That's all, baby. But listen, if you are a new subscriber... I really appreciate you guys so much for just taking a shot on the kid. If you are a day one, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see your comments in there when you're saying, you guys, make sure you thumbs up the video. I, don't, I want you to know that I, that stuff is seen and it is appreciated so very much. My mods, you already know. You already know. I love, like, y'all really have helped me grow in so many ways. I really appreciate you guys. I really, really do. Y'all help me to keep the flow the way the flow is supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you can't put folk out of church, but you can put folk out of the community chat and stuff if they not, um, if, if they not, um, doing right by the rest of the congregation. <laughs> Y'all, y'all, y'all be holding it down, honey. Y'all hold it down. Sometimes I don't even see stuff until <laughs> to the end. I'll be like, oh, my mom got rid of that. Boop. Don't come in here trying to. Don't, don't get it twisted because we laid back. Occur, occur. Don't think for one second that because we are laid back, we are full of slack. Don't think that. Don't think that. I be telling people. Usher's past the collection plate, all of that. We we are well old machine over here, okay? We are well old. Y'all, why does it look like this side going up? <laughs> oh my 
y'all guys. But y'all, I'm about to go do this laundry. Thank you for jumping on with me. Bam, it turned out lovely. The link to this wig is in the description box. I love y'all so much. And I pray that you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll be back very soon. I've kind of been on break. And uh, I have enjoyed it thoroughly. But this is kind of like my intro back back into it. We back into it. We rolling. So I have some things that's about to come out. And y'all going to really, really like them. So stay tuned for that stuff. But I love y'all. Have a wonderful day. And have an excellent week. An excellent week. Okay. Do right by yourselves and each other. And until next time. Ain't no ocean, ain't no sea. <laughs>